Good morning, welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. Here we are, we're uh, getting ready to head out of Boca Inlet and we're gonna go uh, do some trolling and uh, probably some bottom fishing for some yellowtails and stuff later in the day. Um, do me a favor, before we get into this video, if you, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, hit subscribe, give the video a like if you like it and uh, leave a comment if you feel like it. All right, uh, we'll see you when we're heading out. We got the lines out, trolling's not really uh, working out right now, so we're gonna head over to Fink's and go do some bottom fishing and uh, try to yank up some yellowtails and whatever bites. So here we are at Fink's. Uh, got the chum out. Here's our uh, gauges. We're gonna check it out and see if uh, anybody's home. And here we go, folks, at Fink's. First yellowtail of the day. He's a big boy. All right, I'll let you know how we do. Um, before I drop my next line down, I wanna go over something. Uh, you all have seen my little yellowtail rig I got, which is a uh, boxing glove jig double hooked up. And, um, if you've watched my previous videos, you can find out uh, one of them, which will show you how to make this rig. Another one is my favorite baits to fish with yellowtails, which is a silver side. I'm going to show you how to rig that up and how I drop it down. So what I do is I take it and I'll take my hooks and I'll measure them out. So the middle hook, the bottom hook should be in about the middle of the body. The top hook should be right about his head. What you want to do is you hook him through his body first. Then you take your your hook and you sort of make it like a 90 degree angle and you send the top hook through his head, which is the bony part, so that kind of hold, makes it hold on real good. And you're good to go. When you drop your line, let it out as fish quick as you can. Um, you want your bait to float in the water. You don't want to drag it through the water. To give you all a quick update of what's happened uh we moved spots from a place called fink to a place called shark ledge just a little bit south of there and uh, we've been doing really good with the yellowtail uh if you look over here you can see we got chubs and ballyhoo in the water and just a little bit out there is where all the yellowtail are so uh we're gonna keep doing it until they stop biting and then uh yeah all right so we had a great day caught a bunch of yellowtail uh we're back we're trolling back towards the yanlet we got a uh Weed line out here off to the port side in about 150 feet of water. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's about 15 yards off the boat. Uh, so that's what we're doing for the remainder of the day. Then we're going to go in, uh, clean up, clean all of our fish. We've got about 10 or 15 yellowtails. I'm not sure how many. I lost track. Didn't even feel like counting. Uh, Abby and Chloe look uh, pretty much done. So uh, that's the story. Hopefully we catch something on the troll back. Uh, I'll let you know. All right.
Today we caught 11 yellowtail. Nice size. Uh, I'll show you how to fillet yellowtail. Uh, we just caught these off shark ledge. Um, so we'll get right into it. First thing I'm gonna do, I got a Barracuda brand knife, Cuda brand. I take it and I'm gonna slit it right up here, right behind the pectoral fin. Go down, go in all the way up, all the way across the head, kind of angled like that. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to make an incision right across the dorsal fin. And you can feel it as you go along the, uh, the lateral line bones. Then I'm going to take it, once I get down to the spine, I'm going to take my knife and insert it all the way through to the underside right near the anal cavity. And I go all the way, almost all the way down to the tail, but I don't go all the way through. Then I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna come from the underside. We insert it back through near the belly. There's our first fillet. Now, to skin it, you, this is why you leave it here attached to the tail. Take it, and there's a fat layer between the skin and the flesh. And all you have to do is simply flex your knife, go follow it along, it'll come out. You leave no meat on the skin, you get a perfect fillet. And you debone it by removing the ribs. And then we're gonna remove there's little pin bones right here along the center. We'll remove those by making two incisions like that. And then you simply go like that, and there's your fillet. Alright, now we'll flip the fish over. And we'll repeat the process on the other side. Again, some people are more comfortable with the fish on one side than the other. You got to get used to doing them both. So here we go. We make the incision. We come along the, the, the top of the fish, which is uh, known as the dorsal fin. Make a small slice. You don't want to cut through the, the, uh, the spine bones. You want to go straight down to the spine. Stick your knife all the way through. Right here. This is what you want. Then you're going to go run your knife down along the spine, all the way, almost down to the tail. Then on this side, you stick your knife in through the top, and you're going to run along the belly cavity again, and your fillet comes out. Again, fat layer between the skin and the flesh. Run your knife here, flex your knife. You sort of pull and push with your knife. Skin, no skin left on the fillet. We got a fish with no bones. You take your fillet. You're gonna debone them here with the ribs. That's the rib meat. Then you debone the little pin bones along the spine that stick out. Blam. That is how you fillet the yellowtail. All right, everybody, we had a great day. Um, uh, to recap, we started out trolling. We trolled around the uh, the Hydro Atlantic wreck uh, off Boca Raton Inlet, uh, which was pretty much a uh, a non-event. And then we uh, we headed up north off Delray to a couple of different spots. The first was uh, Fink's. 
And we caught some yellowtail, and then the action died. And then we went to a place called Shark Ledge, um, which uh, produced a bunch of yellowtail. There was a bunch of cereal mackerel swimming around. I could see them. There was, there was a small school of them, at least, you know, half a dozen or so. But we couldn't get them to bite. The water was very clear, and they were very sketchy. Um, it is called Shark Ledge for a reason. There are sharks there, and if you don't reel your catch up real quick, the sharks will get them. Um, yes, so Shark Ledge is not just a name, they're sharks. You, know, you can go, you know, fish responsibly. Don't clean out my fishing holes for me. I like to go there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm completely toast. I'm done for today. I'm Heath, and this is. South Florida saltwater fishing.